Today's object will be familiar to everyone. We all have one at home. It has been with us since the dawn of civilization, and indeed could be said to have shaped society itself. It is without doubt one of humanity's most elegant and indispensable items. Professor Rigby, All Souls College. Examples have been excavated, rendered in materials such as wood and flint, clay, leather, bronze. They've been found in Neolithic settlements of Europe and the tombs of ancient Egypt and the ashes of Bombay. In antiquity, slaves used them on a daily basis. Uh, and no self-respecting emperor would go to their grave without one handy, alongside, ready for use in the afterlife. The earliest known example was found by the archaeologist Robert Jones at Flem in the Tseng province of western China in 1839. It has been carbon dated to around 7913 BC. This example became known as Jones's Thunderbolt. Analysis of the Thunderbolt revealed that it had been made with meteorite. The use of meteorite, celestial stone, is deeply significant, as it suggests an important ceremonial purpose, perhaps, as Jones dared to say, one involving human sacrifice. Jones turned everything on its head. Up until that point, academics had only seen the benign and beneficial qualities. When Jones revealed his findings to a packed auditorium at the University of Wisconsin, scuffles broke out, the police were called, and in the ensuing mayhem, the auditorium was burnt to the ground with poor old Jones inside. The public simply weren't ready for such heresies. The academics were in uproar. He might as well have burnt their books. We could now chart a course to the modern factories of China via the Renaissance, the Industrial Revolution, the first man flight and man's conquest of space. But our journey must end here. I leave you with the voice of contemporary Britain, united in celebration of what Voltaire called La Grande Poubelle. Yes, yes, I, 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 I still have the same one my mummy gave me when I was 13. Isn't it beautiful? I keep it very clean. Of course, the influence on fashion has been enormous. Just pick up any magazine over the last 50 years. I've just broken mine. I'm lost without it. It's going to cost a fortune to repair. I think I can claim for it on the insurance, but it's still got 150 quid excess. Keep going. I won't be having nothing to do with that. 